We all know Apex Legends is a fast-paced BR game where knowledge is power. The game gives you a ton of information, but are you really aware of all the information you have? Today, we dive into five things you may not know about Apex Legends that can help you communicate with your team, win fights, and get that W to become an Apex champion. What's up, everybody? It's the Biggie. First and foremost, thank you for stopping by today's video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to be notified of any new Apex Legends content moving forward. On top of that too, I just want to remind you all to make sure you are joining the Discord in the description of the video, so that way if you are one of the winners of these 1000 Apex coin giveaways, I can get in contact with you to get your code. Okay, five things you may not know about Apex Legends, and seriously, let me know if you didn't know about any of these things listed today. Alright, first off, map awareness and rotations is everything in Apex Legends. As the circle begins to close and teams get pulled into one another, position on the map is important to be aware of. If you find yourself outside the next zone, and the ring is closing in, you'll notice that the next ring is faintly pulsating. Make sure you pay attention to that. As you move into the circle, that pulsing will stop, signifying that you're inside the next zone, and the ring won't touch you once it closes. Now, there's another way to look at this by actually checking out your map and zooming in, but this saves you way more time. So next time you're trying to find out what position is inside of the ring or not, you can use the map in itself to help you get to the right angle and make sure you don't get caught in the ring. And a bonus tip, you can also use the ping system along with the map to help spot the areas in the map ahead of time. This is super useful if you're trying to rotate around the circle and determine what is the safe area and what isn't. Now, let's make some notes on team interaction. Sometimes the best team comps aren't just the legends themselves, but also what items those legends individually have. Running an all shoddy sniper team might seem fun, but it's actually not practical. If you're looking at your inventory, the left side will tell you not only what main items your teammates have, but also what weapon types they're running as well and what they may or may not need. You can use all this information when coming across backpacks and helmets or knockdown shields, but also use this info to determine what loadout you'd like to run to complement your team. For example, if one of your teammates is running that sniper shotgun combo, maybe you want to find yourself an AR and SMG so that way you can have your own ammo and have your own practicality for mid to close range fights. Now, while you're in your inventory, did you actually know there's an icon to see if your teammates need certain items? Yeah, this is mind-blowing to a lot of people. The pinging system in Apex Legends is one of the best systems we've seen in almost any game out. You can almost solely communicate with your teammates in a game by only using the ping system and do really well. Not only can the ping system help you and your team decide where to go or who to engage with, but it can also aid your teammates by pinging items they may may need that they don't even know they need. If you've ever been looting a player's death box or supply bin and notice this little character next to the ping icon, it means it's an item that your teammate needs. This can be huge if you see a mag or another weapon attachment that maybe you don't need, but it would be beneficial to your teammate. Your teammates can dibs that item and go grab it. Side note, do we respect the dib system around here? Like, come on, am I the only man that is a man of dibs? Let me know in the comments comments down below. All right, this next one is something that I often have to find myself showing to other players. It's a very simple thing that I thought most people would know about. Have you ever been looting and trying to find a specific item, but you're just not having any luck, wondering where the two times bruiser or level three heavy mag are? It might be something that's in the replicator, but there's a problem. You're not near a replicator to check to be 100% sure. Next time you find yourself in this position, open up your map. That will tell you exactly what's in the replicator and what you won't be able to find on the ground. Use this info as you're planning your loadout and give your teammates a heads up as well. A bonus tip on this one. The replicators can be huge if you're in a pinch with no shields, batteries, or cells. If you throw your damage shield into the replicator, not only will you receive 150 points on your Evo for an upgrade, but it'll also fully repair your shield for you. All right, moving on. As you know, in Apex Legends, you can do finishing moves on your downed enemies, whether you've killed them or not. And that's, that's a very funny feature. Finishing moves come in a variety variety of options depending on legends and can add a hilarious or even annoying addition to the gameplay. However, finishing a downed enemy is not only to annoy that TTVer in the lobby, it is actually there to help you. When you use a finisher on a downed enemy,
me and complete the full finish animation, it allows you to get full shield back. So if you just knock your guy and you know there are more coming from a distance, pull a little finisher and get that fresh shield while saving your inventory items. But act fast because if you get caught in the animation, it could be your last move. Finding out little things like this about Apex Legends, I think is what really separates this game from other games. So sincerely, if you guys are really new to any of this information that was shared today, I would love to hear your thoughts down below or feel free to let me know what season you found out about most of these things. I can personally tell you, I remember how I reacted to every one of these things. I was shocked. I played this game for so long and was still able to find out so much more about the game. And I think that is really what makes Apex Legends stand out from a lot of other games. Like I mentioned, the ping system in itself is a way to completely interact with your teammates without even having the need for a microphone. Now that's not an excuse to not have a microphone, ladies and gentlemen. So let's everybody hop into the minivans, hop into the family vehicles, get down to the nearest target, and let's get everybody on Apex Legends a damn mic. Also, I just wanted to personally take the time today and thank you all for the support. Whether you're a recent subscriber or a long-term one, the recent love that we've been getting on the videos has been amazing. I have a lot of plans on this channel moving forward and just ways to interact with you all in general. One of the things that I want to make sure I continue to do is give back to you all. That's why I've been doing some of these Apex Coin giveaways in these videos in itself. On top of that, I'm going to start giving back to the amazing members on this channel. We actually have over 100 members that involve themselves in these videos and on our live streams every single Tuesday. So this month, we're going to be giving 4,300 Apex Coins to one of you amazing members on the channel. Memberships start off at only a dollar. So right now, with the membership of only a dollar, you have a 1 in 120 chance to win 4,300 Apex Coins. Those are pretty good odds. So make sure you guys join the members club today. On top of that, you get a lot of amazing other benefits that are listed amongst the different tiers, including the new members games that we are going to be doing here moving forward. On top of that, we have amazing emotes here for all of our members. Seriously, if any of you guys are watching this video and you're a members on this channel, please spam the emotes down below. If you guys are not aware, we stream here every Tuesday on YouTube. And during those streams, I get a little lonely. So sometimes we just enable some member games. So if you are a part of the members club and want to get some games in, make sure you stop by one of the Tuesday streams. And finally, like I mentioned earlier in the video, make sure you guys are joining the Discord server down in the description of the video to interact with myself and a lot of amazing other people in the community and to be able to be contacted if you guys do win some of these amazing Apex coins. While you're in the description, make sure you guys follow me on all of my social medias, including Twitch as well. We do stream there, by the way. A lot of you guys have been asking me about that. It's at very random times, but it does happen from time to time. Anyways, guys, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications. That's all we got for you guys today. I'm out. Peace. Deuces.